Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Wraith here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over an interesting topic I've never talked about before. And I'm going to be basically talking about, is it possible for you, an average player, or somewhat good, or even somewhat bad player to become a pro player, or even a good player in 30 days? So basically in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down what you could do to kind of best get to that option like get to that level of where you could become a pro player or even a semi pro player or uh, just better than you are before but basically in 30 days I'll be kind of breaking it down on what you can possibly do to become as good as possible so if you're looking forward to this video make sure you slap a like button on it hit that subscribe button and let's get into it so what you got to realize that with 30 days you can't just put in more time and expect to be better 100% you're gonna have to put in more time than you're putting in right now like for example if you're playing two three hours a day you're gonna have to put in five to six hours if you want to get to that pro level if you're just looking to get better in this 30 days or in this short amount of time then obviously you don't need to put in that much time but if you really want to be as good as possible putting in more time is going to be more beneficial um, but just by putting in more time, you're not guaranteed to become a better player. You're going to need to actually use that time wisely by just playing the game, stuff like that. People think they're going to become a pro player or a better version of what they are now. And unfortunately, that's just not the reality. You might become a little bit better, but you're not going to become where you could be or you're just going to be wasting your time and potential potential basically um, but basically what you need to do is figure out a specific practice routine and regimen and kind of work on the things you're not good at which I'll talk about in these tips now so the first thing you're gonna need to do when you're starting to get on this grind or get just kind of working and get better is you're gonna need a practice regimen I talked about this in previous videos uh, some of you guys still don't have one or maybe they're not the most solid regiment but basically what a regiment would be is something that you do every single day for these 30 days and hopefully even after that will continue to help you grow and become a better player this involves warm-up what you're gonna do throughout the day different things and then right what you're gonna do after you get off um, so for example it could vary for a little bit for each person depending on what your weaknesses are what you struggle with what you need to work on um, but basically here's like a general one for keyboard and then I'll say one for controller that I do so like for example for keyboard I'd hop on and I'd hit Kovacs or aim labs for like 20 ish minutes uh, just kind of warm up my aim maybe practice it a little bit uh, you're not gonna see huge improvements with 20 minutes but it's just a good way to improve uh, a little bit as well as get kind of warmed up then I would go into editing and free building for 20 minutes just free editing free building just kind of get my builds all warmed up making sure everything is all good uh, then I would go into box fighting or realistics for like 20 minutes so in total you've probably spent around an hour give or take warming up feeling good you're improving a little bit um, then I'd hop into arena and depending how much time you have I'd try and try and play like four to five to six games minimum if you can play more perfect if not whatever how she goes and then after that depending on how much time you have left I would scrim the entire day um, or the rest of the time you have and obviously it depends if there's like if you really want to improve solos then just do these solos if you're trying to improve duos trios which I'll talk about in a future tip um, work on the duos or trios arena or whatever the case is for this season um, but then after that I would after you're done grinding the scrims I would just hop off and either hit a little bit more of Kovacs or free building depending on what my weakness is if I'm not that good on editing I'd work on my editing if I'm not get that good at peace control I do that if I'm not that good at aiming I'd work on Kovacs then right after that I'd spend 20 30 minutes VOD reviewing and clipping all the games that I played that day so all the scrims all the arena and going over it and then writing down what I did wrong, what I need to work on, etc., etc. For controller, I would do the same thing, but instead of hitting the Kovacs, I would really work on peace control. Just because having good peace control and controller literally separates you from being a top 1,000 controller player and a top 100 p controller player. Having good peace control, like Re, Unknown, all those guys, is just absolutely mind-boggling the difference. Now the next thing I'd be focusing on, which a lot of people struggle with, is when you're playing arena or scrims or whatever you're doing, um, you just can't be playing. And that's kind of what I said in the first tip. You actually have to be like working on what you struggle with and using and implementing the things that you picked up on in your VOD review. So for example, something that I like to do or used to do when I was grinding is when I'd look over my VOD reviews just to keep it fresh in my mind and always remember so I'm not just wasting my time VOD reviewing I would just literally write down on a Word document or on a piece of paper just a couple things I picked up on when VOD reviewing it's like two seconds it doesn't take that long and in my opinion then it just keeps 
keeps in your mind fresh and then right before after I warmed up the next day um, right before I hopped into arena or hopped into scrims I'd literally just quickly read over all the things I want to work on so for example let's just say I did window peaks instead of uh, peanut butter peaks a lot of the time I remember back in the day I'd write down the piece of paper no more window peaks do peanut butter and then it'd be fresh in my mind the next day when I was grinding arena or scrims and then even box fights and I'd really fo focus on making sure I don't do any window peaks and I'd only do peanut butter peaks so that way in my opinion just writing it down will just keep you kind of um what's the word like keep you making sure that you're it's in your mind it's fresh in your mind and you're actually going to do it by just watching over the vod reviews in my opinion it's still a good way to learn still a good way to improve but you're not going to remember every single thing that you've learned and then implement it the next day so by writing it down it just helps you don't have to do it it's a little bit excessive but in my opinion it will actually show you results better than if you don't do it um yeah so the next tip and this depends on what you're trying to go for uh, so for example, even if you're going for souls, I still recommend finding some teammates who you can grind with and who are supportive uh, because obviously for 30 days or however long you want to grind to become a pro player, uh, you're not really going to be able to play solo the entire time unless you have literally the best mentality in the entire world because you just get burnt out. It wouldn't be fun. You would just not want to play anymore. Uh, so in my opinion, finding people who you can play with who are fun, who have a like-minded mindset as you, who want to grind, who want to get better, uh, finding guys like that are going to be so important. Uh, you can find people through Discord. Uh, that's probably your best option even in these comments let me know down in the comments if you're trying to find people maybe you guys can connect with each other if you guys are like-minded uh maybe grind together who, kn who knows uh but even if you're not like grinding a trios or duos and if you are then i obviously recommend playing duos and trios um with your trio or duo if that's what you're grinding but if you're grinding for solos even being in a call with your friends and being in a call with people who are supportive will just allow you to become such a better player because they're going to be pushing you to be better they're going to be pushing you to become a better version of yourself uh they're going to be telling you what you struggle with what you need to work on things like that and if they don't you need to just ask them just be like hey just out of curiosity what do you think i need to work on as a player if you're playing with them consistently and they're supportive they'll tell you they're not just gonna be like oh i can't tell you or like or everything like you know what i mean like the, if you're playing with good people and you're playing with friends that you enjoy playing with who are good solid people they will help you out um so trust me find good teammates even if you're grinding solos you want to become a better solo player having teammates who are supportive and going to help you grind is just so so important and if you're grinding trios duos squads or whatever the case is then obviously same thing as you're going to want to find teammates who are solid so now the next thing and this is hard for some people because a lot of people don't have the mentality to keep going and keep grinding when things get tough um, but basically is just don't give up right at the start like I know uh, some people might play for a week out of the 30 days and just be like look it's been seven days I haven't seen any improvement like I'm not getting better uh, this is a waste of my time blah, blah blah and hey if you feel like it's a waste of your time then don't do it like it's, I'm, I'm not pushing you to do it it's up to you if you want to grind or not um, but basically if you play for a week and you're just like realizing hey i'm not getting better there's only like two things one you didn't give it enough time because think about it anything in life that you try and grind towards try and get better at uh whether it's sports whether it's school whether whatever the case is you're gonna have to grind it, some people can get it in a day some people can get it in two days and get lucky most people have to grind for years or for months or for days it's not just going to come instantly for most people obviously the odd person it'll, it'll come but for majority of people it's not going to come instantly it might take you two weeks out of the 30 days it might take you three weeks but if you're grinding consistently and put in the time put in the work and you're doing it properly eventually you're going to see really good improvement that might take a week that might take two weeks that might take three weeks that might take the full 30 days before you really start noticing a really good improvement but again the more you do it the more your time you're putting in as long as you're doing the proper time and the proper drills etc you're gonna see improvement it might take a little bit longer than other people but you're gonna see the improvement so don't don't just give up after three days because you're not seeing any progress give it a little bit more time maybe try try a small couple different things so for example switch a little bit things in your routine instead of doing Kovacs beginning of the day do it at the end of the day and do a little bit of in-game training for your aim or whatever the case is right maybe switch up your schedule just a tad or switch up people you play with or whatever the case is right don't just give up because you're not seeing any progress obviously if you feel like you're just wasting your time you're not doing good um you don't really want to do it there's no reason for you to keep going it's not it's not like anyone's forcing you to keep grinding um but in my opinion if you really want to be the best and you really want to be the best player you can just give it some time eventually things will work out um for me it took like back when i was grinding grinding i think it was like a month and a half before i even saw like huge improvements and then that's when i got my 95th 
uh, placement in the Cash Cup, which wasn't insane, but like for me, it was pretty solid. Um, considering normally I'd finish in like the top 300, top 400. So yeah, like after a while, you will start to see improvement. You will start to get more improve. You'll be like, oh my god, I'm actually improving, which will end up to you even grinding even more. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you slap a like button on it, hit that subscribe button, and use creator code RaithFN in the item shop. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.